Welcome to Easy LA Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be working on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is indices and logarithms. So we are going to be looking at the roots. So we will use the log tables and the antilog to get the roots of values just like we have been doing in the previous um, lesson but in this case the roots now. So we will start with a number which is 8.92. So we are going to write number standard form and log. So the number is 8.92, 892, and the standard form is 8.92 times 10 power 2. So we are checking 8.92 in our logarithm table. So I introduced another small logarithm because the logarithm was large. So this is 8.90.1.2 and this is what we want. So this is going to be 0 0.9504. And since we have another value 10 power 2, it's plus 2. So it becomes 2.9504. Remember the square root is the same as multiplying by half. If you look at this value, it's the same as 892 power 1 over 2. And remember how we were doing in the previous uh, lesson when you had a value power n in logarithm, you would get the log and then multiply by n. So in this case, you multiply by half, which means it's 2.9504 divided by 2, which will give us 1.4752. So if we look for the standard form of this antilog, this is the same as 10 power 1 times 10 power 0, 4, 7, 5, 2. So you look for 47.52. So inside here we have 47, 42, 47, 57. So you pick 47, 42 because it's the closest. That gives us 2.9 across and then upwards is 8. And then when you look at the difference, 47, 52, 0 0.47, 42, the difference is 10. So if we move across the difference is 10, we move up to 7, it gives us 7. So it's 2.987 then times 10 power 1, which gives us 29.87, which is our answer. Let's do another question. So you have a root of 4 or 7.6. So we get the number standard form and the log. So the number is 407.6, standard form will be 4.076 times 10 power 2. So 4.076, you go to where 4.0 is, and 7, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which gives us 0 0.6096, 6 is in the next column. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is 7. So plus 0 0.0007, which gives us 13, 0, 1. So it is 0 0.6103. I remember we have a characteristic of 2. So this becomes 2.6103. But because it's the cube root, it tells us that we have to multiply by a third which is the same as the division dividing by a third. So this gives us 0 0.8701. So 0 0.8701, we are going to look for the antelope on this. So we go to our table, we look for 8701. So we have 8698 and 8704. 87.04 is high, so you pick 86.98, which gives us 7.4. Um, 1, 
So the difference 0 0.8701, 0 0.8698, 0 so this is going to be 3, and then we have 3, a difference of 3, which when we move across comes to 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So it is 7.415. So our answer is 7.415. So let's look at another question. So you notice for this question, the value is smaller than 1. So it's number, uh, standard form, and then log. So it's 0 0.945. You put it in standard form, it becomes 9.45 times 10 power negative 1. So we do that, that is 9.4, and then 5, that is 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which gives us 97, 54. So 0 0.9754. So this is now bar 1.9754. Remember, this is the square root, so you multiply by half. But you notice this is bar 1.9754, and we said that the characteristic is the one that is negative only. So we are going to make this value such that it's possible for us to divide without necessarily making the whole value to be negative. So it's going to be bar 1 and then 0 0.9754. We just separate the characteristic and matisa and then we had values. What you do this side, you do in the other side. So we are going to add a negative 1 this side and a positive 1. It's the same number but positive on the Mantisa and negative on the characteristic, which gives us bar 2.1.9754. That, that how it is. So if you divide this by 2, you get bar 1. And then 1.9754 divided by 2 will give us 0. 0.9877. If we add these together, you get bar 1.9877. So if we get the antilog, this is the same as 10 power negative 1 times 10 0 0.9877. So we look for that in our table, that is 9877. So we have it here. So it's on 9.7. 0, 1, 2, 9.72, and remember this is times 10 power negative 1, or the division, which gives us 0 0.972. So this is our answer. So I hope you have been able to understand how to calculate um, the root of values, both when the numbers are more than 10 and below 10, especially when it comes to the mantissa and characteristic, when we have a characteristic that is of negative sign, ensure you separate them. Let's work them out as like two separate values. That way you are not able to, if you work it out as one value, it means the whole value is negative, which is not true. It's just only the whole number. So this separation helps us to separate the positive side and the negative side. Hence, we are able to do the calculation much better. So, and then after that, make sure you always get your values in antilog and then get the final answer in your question. So that brings us to the end of logarithm and indices in form 2. So if you want to do more revision questions on this topic so that you can understand it even better and the notes, you can check out in the app. So see you in the next lesson as we begin a new topic.